Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Main Stage News. Today, I've got another spawn trap video for you guys. This time, it's on the map slums. Now, spawn trapping and demolition on the map slums can be extremely easy and effective, but domination can be a little tricky, so I'm gonna help you guys figure out how to set it up. This is gonna be at A flag because at C flag, there is a lot of open lines of sight where people spawn in, so it is insanely easy to flip spawns at C. When the enemy team only has A flag, there is about four areas that the enemy is gonna spawn in. Now, the areas that they spawn in can be flipped, changed, either to your benefit or to hurt your team, but one of the things you need to be good at when spawn trapping is knowing how the spawns are going to be changed based on where you are and where teammates are. Now how spawn trapping on the map slum is tricky is because if you kill them so many times in a certain area, they will spawn on the other side of the map. That's what these two red boxes are for, but there is a way to prevent this and still be able to stay in the same spots. If you throw a lethal equipment down such as a bouncing betty or claymore, the enemy will not spawn there, and they will stay spawning back at A flag. These two things are extremely crucial to the spawn trap a day because if you do not have those there, they will obviously have an easy pathway to two flags and next thing you know, you may be the one getting spawn trapped. Starting out, this first guy needs to be on the far right side looking at A. Having him stand there will obviously cancel out this spawn because no matter how terrible you think the spawns are, they're not going to spawn somebody right on top of you like that. But this guy really needs to use a dumpster as a head glitch as best he can. But one thing this guy still can't do is peek down the hallway because they do still spawn down there and you don't want to flip spawns. And looking directly at a spawn can usually flip them. The next guy should be in the middle section, again using the dumpster as best of a head glitch as he knows. Him standing here will cancel out the spawn right on top of him. This guy can also to help out the left side a little bit too because if they start to get overran or something he can just peek out on the other side of the wall as long as he's making sure that his job is done first the third guy should be again in the middle section head glitching on the tires this guy should have a decent shot because they are going to be on a head glitch too so when he gets into gunfights it's going to be fairly even and usually the guy that won gunfights like that is the one with the best aim the fourth guy should be on the far left side using the cop car as a head glitch this guy should watch out for grenades because people like to toss grenades over that wall towards the people on the cop car also this guy should watch out for the head glitch on the wall in case you don't know about it i will show you guys here in a little bit what i'm talking about but there is this like table that you can jump up on and look over the wall the fifth guy again should be on the cop car this time on the other side of the cop car same rules applies to him one thing that i want to mention is that tactical insertions really can help spawn trapping so everybody can lay tactical insertions on the other side near the b flag and this will allow them to hold the spawn trap even longer the sixth and final guy should be at the fountain the best weapon of choice for this guy would probably be a sniper rifle in this spot he can pick off guys on that wall head glitch that i was talking about a second ago also help out guys in the middle section you really don't have to have anybody by the statue if you'd rather have somebody helping out one of the guys in the middle left or right sections feel free to put this guy in whatever section you feel is getting the most traffic the final thing you need to remember when spawn trapping is not to go past these white lines that i have set up if you go past these white lines the spawns will flip next thing you know you'll be the one getting spawn trapped and you'll have teammates yelling at you sounding like this guy But that is about it for this video. If you guys liked the video, definitely hit that like button. If you have something to say, drop that comment below. I'd love to know any ways that I could improve my spawn trap videos or any video that I have. And here's two videos that you may have missed. On the left side, we have another spawn trap tutorial on the map hijacked. So if you enjoyed this spawn trap video, you'll probably like that one too. And on the right side is a tip video on how to counter drop shotting. So if you're getting frustrated with people drop shotting you in Black Ops 2, click on that to learn how to counter it. And if you're here at the end of the video, maybe you enjoyed. So definitely hit that subscribe button to get more content like this. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.